What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Frankie Hardwork, and I'm super duper back with another one. So this Kanye debacle is really getting out of hand now, you know what I mean? Now, I feel like a lot of people are starting to get involved. I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's really starting to become super duper. It's been public, but now it's becoming personal to me with a lot of other people. And it's crazy that there's a bunch of black men fighting, but that's a whole other story. So D.L. Uli put up a post, a tweet, and he stated, Hashtag Kanye. It's too bad that you're acting like a nut. Won't stop Pete from hashtag Pete from busting one. Team DL. Wack 100 wasn't feeling that. Wack 100 is another person that's involved in this situation. He wasn't feeling that. So he put up a post that stated, at Real, at, uh, Real DL Hewley stands with the Illuminati. We represent the hashtag Illuminati. Great job, hashtag boy. Now run, go get the lemonade. Kanye West, keep your head up. Just because they look like us doesn't mean they're for us. Hashtag daddy gang. So he put up a picture of D.L. Hewley with a bucket of chicken. And he stated that the people's champ correction, his people champ. Hashtag Illuminati. And he said, real D.L. Hewley, go and fetch that lemonade. So he really felt some type of way about that because as you see, you know, game and uh, Wack 100 been running around with Kanye West heavy lately. You know what I mean? So that's another a type of feeling. But I guess Dio Hula ain't stopped there because he put up another post that said, hmm, ain't that weird that Kanye West supposedly has all these goons who were killed for him, but not one of them will get his prescription filled. Here's a thought while you're on your way to kill me in Calabasas. How about somebody drop by CVS, CVS and pick up that Xanax, LOL. And then he put up another uh, tweet stating that, ain't no, way, ain't no way in hell I be ever scared of a dude that wears hashtag I know what you did last summer boots. So, DL, DL, he ain't backing down. And once again, I'm just reporting it, you know what I mean? I'm definitely putting my, you know, my, 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 uh, my commentary on it because what's going on between them, it's way too much, and it's all over a female. At the end of the day, it's at the female. So Kim Kardashian, she also felt some type of way, and I guess they've been going back and forth because she tweeted him saying that, when I say bring my kids somewhere, I'm not going through this no more. And it says, why would the blank is, why is, why the blank is it up to you where my kids are if, I so, if we so-called have custody? You know, Kanye West spoke on that. You know, he spoke on that, stating that there's no such things as uh, uh, um, pretty much as a um, joint custody is always favored towards women. That's a whole nother story, and, it's, and you know I don't, I'm glad I don't have to deal with situations like this because that's a whole nother story with this situation. But I wanted to speak on this because Pete Davidson finally spoke. He finally um, tweeted Kanye, or not even tweeted Kanye. I guess he either DM'd him or got his number or whatever, but. I'm going to say something because they went back and forth and there's a lot of things. So I'm going to say some of the things. I'm going to show some of the things that he said. So because Kanye, because people was thinking that Kanye was lying. So actually, I'm going to play this clip real quick. And then I'm going to come back with the Pete Davidson um, going back and forth in exchange. So listen to this clip and I'll be right back with the rest of my commentary. It's going too far. God, please, the boyfriend text me antagonizing me bragging about being in bed with my wife i thought i thought it publicly for a year and a half has been i've been dragged and how she's not my wife she don't have a last name and now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife and i'm like well who's watching my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife and and i thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since i got the uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce because every time I finish the show, the Free Hoover show, the next day she dropping the last night. Every time I do some positive, it's some negative that's coming. I go and get the laptop from Ray J. Then is she joking about divorce? I go and get the lawyer, change the lawyer so we can finally do the divorce. And then somehow I'm the one that's the stalker. God. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm back. So as you hear in that clip that he just spoke. You know, he was talking about it before this, you know, before, because everybody thought that he was lying or whatever. So he put up, I guess he put up the, the tweet or somebody put it up. Yeah, he put it up pretty much. So it says from Pete Davidson, it says, um, 
It says, yo, it's Ski. Can you please take a second and calm down? It's 8 a.m. and it don't got to be like this. Kim is literally, literally the best mother I ever met. What she's doing, what she does for those kids is amazing. And you're so effing lucky that she's your kid's mom. I decided I'm not going to let this treat let you treat us this way anymore. And I'm done being quiet. Grow the F up. So Kanye stated, oh, you using profanity? Where you at right now? So Pete Davidson sent the picture and said, in bed with your wife. Very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Gloves off now, I guess. It says, happy to see you out with, uh, this is what Kanye said, happy to see you out the hospital in rehab. And it says, Pete Davidson says, same, same here. It's wonders what those places do when you get help. You should try it. I'm in L.A. for a day if you want to stop being a little internet b-boy and talk. So he says, Pete Davidson, you don't scare me, bro. Your actions is so... P-U-S, you know, and me embarrassing. It's so sad to see you watch you ruin your legacy of the, of the on a daily. Kanye stated, you're more than welcome to come to Sunday service. And he said, we don't we can meet after Sunday service in St. In, in St. Games. I'll be at the BHH. We can also have food and talk about it in, in my room privately. No one on one, man to man. Now, there's a lot more posts that's going on that I'm going to post it up. I'm not going to read all that because there's a lot more. They went back and forth. But my thing about this, too many people getting involved with this, first of all. You got you got Charlemagne. You know, I understand Charlemagne is a very good friend of Pete Davidson. I don't know if people know that. They're very good friends. They, they chill. They do all types of things way before all this. So I think Charlemagne is kind of like picking sides right now, clearly. You know what I mean? Because he he's pretty much threatening that he got something on Kanye that he don't want to bring up. And it's like, why you doing all this for Pete Davidson? I understand y'all cool and all that, but why you doing all this? That's that's a little bit strange to me too. That's a, that's a whole other thing. And I feel like too many people is getting involved with this. But this message is for Kanye right here, bro. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. To me, I feel like you got a pass with a lot of them little videos that you've been doing that you you know that you. Saying you're going to do this to Pete and do that to Pete and saying his songs and doing all that. You've been getting away with a lot of that, man. Just keep it moving, bro. Like, you might as well move on because right now you're looking like you're looking bad out here. You're looking real bad out here. You're making this dude look like the superhero. And you're pushing him more and more into arms and to dual arms. Just keep it moving, bro. You know what I mean? Yes, I feel like a lot of these dudes that's actually saying stuff in public can go behind the scenes and try to speak to Kanye. I'm pretty sure they can do this. You know what I mean? So I feel like, yeah, D.O. Hulley, while he was trying to help out, I think he was pushing it a little bit. Wack 100, Wack 100 is in everybody business. It could be genuine, you know what I mean? With Wack 100, it could be genuine, or it could just be for more attention. Who knows? In this situation, I'm going to choose that he's being genuine. You understand? But for the most part, if Dawg's going to try to highlight him, highlight him behind the scenes, man. Talk to that man. But Kanye West, step your game up, bro. Fall back and keep him moving. You're looking bad out here, man. You're looking bad out here. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. You think Wack 100 should have stepped in? You think D.L. Hewley is doing too much talking? You think Kanye West doing too much? It's just so much to say on this situation. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Go holla at your boy on IG at Frankie Hard Work 1. And go check my brand out, Hard Work Uni. Easy.